Got a Kohler V-twin engine here. Um, it's a carbureted engine and it has a fuel shutoff solenoid at the bottom of the carburetor and uh, what this thing does is uh, it's got a little plunger, spring-loaded plunger that uh, presses against the uh, main um, main jet in the carburetor blocking the uh, main channel in the carburetor. Um, when you turn the key on that plunger gets pulled back in it's opening up that passageway, that main passageway in the carburetor so uh, fuel can get to the engine. Then when you turn your key off, it uh, a spring loaded, the spring pressure pushes the plunger back and, and blocks that main channel, preventing gas from going in the engine. And uh, that uh, yeah, it prevents gas from getting in the engine when you turn the key off and it pre helps prevent backfires. Um, but it's a, it's a possible source of problems if you let uh, fuel set in the carburetor uh, for a long period of time. Um, it can get gummed up and, and not function properly. Um, I had an owner generator in an RV that uh, that set for a long time and uh, the, the solenoid in that carburetor got gummed up and it was preventing the engine from starting. So um, if you know you got fuel going into, going into the carburetor and your, your engine's still not, not uh, starting and you know it's a fuel problem, that's a, this is a possible source of problems. So in this video I'm going to take this off and uh, and show it to you and show you how it works and and uh, you know what to look for on your engine. Hey, first thing you want to do is disconnect the uh, solenoid, the wire. It's usually one wire. Um, this particular solenoid is 19 millimeters. Let's take a wrench, uh, loosen it up, unscrew it. and carefully uh, pull it out. This is your fuel shutoff solenoid. Uh, it's basically just a plunger that moves freely up and down inside the solenoid. Um, it's spring loaded. There's a spring inside here. You can take this out. Uh, if you need to clean it, take it out, clean it, make sure it moves freely up and down. When you uh, connect this wire, uh, a voltage runs, current fl flows through this wire creates a magnet in the solenoid which pulls this plunger in. Um, so, the, so the plunger is pulled in by magnetism and when you turn the key off the magnetism breaks down and the plunger is pushed out by spring spring pressure. Um, so it's real important that you just make sure that this plunger moves freely up and down. Um, like I said current flows through this wire and the body of the uh, solenoid is used as the ground so when you go to plug this thing in and check it, you want to make sure uh, it can, that, you ground the, that you ground the body of the solenoid and that can create a spark. So make sure there's no fuel around where you're working. Um, just clean up the area so that you don't uh, start a fire. And uh, so let's connect this thing and, and see how it works. What you want to do is reconnect the solenoid wire. Um, take the solenoid body, uh, connect it uh, to some place on the engine, ground it and then uh, pretend that my finger is the uh, main circuit or main jet of the carburetor and when I turn the key on the plunger should get pulled in by magnetism which it does and I got the key on the, the main circuit of the carburetor is open and then when you turn the key off spring, spring pressure pushes the plunger out and closes the main circuit of the carburetor so no fuel can get to the engine and that's how a fuel shutoff valve solenoid works. If you've got the uh, fuel shutoff solenoid uh, plunger working freely and you've reconnected it and it's still not working then check your electrical connection and make sure it, the connection's good and uh, check your manual and uh, make sure you're getting the proper voltage at this wire uh, and if it still doesn't work then replace the solenoid but uh, yeah, that's how a uh, uh, fuel shutoff solenoid valve works. And I uh, hope you found this video helpful, and thank you for watching.